what's actually happening for you is that um, you're near this terror, right? And you're not being able to actually dive into the terror. And one thing that will help you do that is from now on to just keep telling yourself that you are terrified. In other words, have the at least make the intellect now acknowledge this feeling that's there. And the more you acknowledge the feeling that's there, you'll get to a point that eventually you'll be able to experience the terror. It might be a week, it might be two weeks, you know, it might be a month, um, but you, you will get to the point where you experience the terror. The key is to be patient with yourself. Remember this terror is a big emotion, it's like a mountain for most of us, it's like a big monster that's going to kill you. And so the key is to just be honest about what the emotion is. Be patient with yourself too about what the emotion is. And this applies to all emotion, not just terror. So be be truthful. I have this hatred of men in me. I have this hatred of women in me. I'm scared of women who are angry. You know, and just write I write them down. Like when I notice this is an intellectual realization, I write them down and I keep reminding myself. Mary plasters it over the walls in the house. Right? Like reverse affirmation. Reverse affirmation, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. And, and they are very helpful. What they do is they are stating the truth, reflecting the truth of how you really feel back to yourself. And eventually, when you do that, you will connect to the emotion. And that's all you will need to do. So every time now you get itchy, I am terrified. Every time the law of attraction is showing you, I'm terrified. Just remind yourself, I am terrified. I'm terrified I'm allowed to be terrified. And I'm allowed to deny my terror. A lot of, a lot of times we, we don't allow ourselves to, cut, to do the opposite. What I found is very powerful, and I, and I still, uh, a lot of times, I can understand why it's powerful, but I was told a long, long time ago in my own emotional processing work, was that you're allowed to choose to not feel something. And it's ironic that when you tell yourself that, often you go ahead and feel it anyway. Right? How many of you have experienced that where you've told yourself, I'm, I am terrified and I'm allowed to choose to not feel it. And ironically the next day you feel it. And the reason why is because it's a constant acknowledgement of the truth. Remember, it's the truth that unlocks the emotion. Right? So, if you tell yourself lies, you are not going to unlock the emotion. You must tell yourself truths to unlock the emotion. 